Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about most important Excel topics which interviewer can ask you during your interview. So without any further ado, let's get started. So to make your learning interesting, I have taken data of IPL. This is a list of batsmen who have scored most runs. So what are the columns we have in this table? We have ranking, player picture, player name, team, matches, run, highest score, average and so on. And then in different tabs, we have different questions which we are going to solve using the formulas or function of Excel. So without any further ado, let's start with our first question. So our first question is use VLOOKUP and update the run scored by RCB player in column G. Okay. So we have this player picture which is Virat Kohli, Dinesh Karthik and Faf and we have their names here and we need to update their runs in I column but using VLOOKUP. So for example, if we see we have this total data from where we need to update the data of RCB players in I column but using the VLOOKUP formula. So if we check, we have Virat Kohli's total run is 379 but we have to update 379 here using VLOOKUP. We can't type manually here. So what we are going to do, we will use VLOOKUP formula. So how we use VLOOKUP, we start with is equals to VLOOKUP, press tab, then lookup value. So what is our lookup value? We have lookup value of Virat Kohli, then comma, then it is asking for table array. So what is table array? Table array is the source from where you want to update the data. So I will take player name as column one and because I want runs, so I will select runs and drag down and select entire range. And then again, I will press comma. And now you can see it is asking for column index number. So we started with column C, which is our column number one then column two, column three, column four. So we have runs in column four. So we will type four comma. Then it is suggesting two values, true or false. False is for exact match and true is for approximate match. So you can either type zero or one. So I'm going to type zero here and close the brackets and press enter. You can see we have got 379 runs, which is correct as per the table. Now we want to update Dinesh Karthik's runs as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to use VLOOKUP again, or we can simply drag the formula, which will show us the Dinesh Karthik's runs as well. So you can see we have 250 runs here. If we go and check in this table, you can see we have 250 runs by Dinesh Karthik as well. Okay. Now again, we can drag for FAF as well, and we are getting 239 runs. And if you come here and check, it is 239. But one thing I want you to notice here is in this formula, you can see we are getting range from C1 to F21. But when you have dragged it, it is getting data from C2 till F22. And again, if you come down, you will see we are getting data from C3 to F23. So for example, if you are going to put Virat Kohli here and then drag this formula, we are getting NA. Why? Because the range has shifted from C4 to F24. And if you will come here and check here, so C4 is your this column. So range is starting from here till down. But Virat Kohli's name is above here. That's why it is not capturing. So it is very important whenever you are using VLOOKUP, just come here and press F4. You can see it has added dollar signs, which means the range is now freezed. So if you are going to drag the formula, it will not change. That means your range will remain same. You can see again, we have C1 here, C1 here and C1 here. That's why we are getting the Virat Kohli data again here. So that is the important point, which you should remember. Moving ahead. Now let's talk about our second question, which is create a pivot table to show which team has scored most runs. So we need to create a pivot table here. So how we can do it? We need to go to insert pivot table from table or data range. Then I will come on batter tab and select the entire range and press enter. Now it has created a pivot table, but currently it is blank. 
Now, what do we want here? Create a pivot table to show which team has scored most runs. So we need to identify team column. So here we are getting team column. So if you want something to appear in rows, you will put it in row. If you want something to sum, count or any kind of mathematical calculation, you will put it in value. Or if you want to filter something, you will put it in filter column. So let me drag this team and put it in row. You can see we are getting all the teams in row. Let's suppose if I wanted teams in column. So I will put in column and you can see in all the columns, I'm getting the teams. What will happen if I put this in value? So it is giving me count of teams, which is giving me total number of rows we have in our table, which is 20. And if we put it in filter, it will show here. And from here, we can filter out any single team. Let's suppose if we want DC only, so we'll select DC. So in our current question, we need to identify which team has scored most runs. So I'm going to put it in row and then I will take the runs column and put it in value. Okay, you can see we have got all the runs here. What I'm going to do, I will use shortcut control shift L. It will put filter here and then what I will do, I will come here and arrange it by largest to smallest. So you, we can see RCB is the team which has scored most runs till now. I hope you understood this question. Now moving ahead, let's talk about our question number three, which is use XLOOKUP to find out the player who is scoring runs with strike rate of 164.08. So, so many of you would have heard of XLOOKUP. If you haven't, I'm going to teach you. It is same like VLOOKUP, but better. One thing you need to know, if you have a prior version of Excel, you might not find this formula there because this is available only in Microsoft 365. Okay, so how we are going to use XLOOKUP is equals to XLOOKUP bracket open. Now it is asking for lookup value. So I want to look up this strike rate. Then I will press comma. Now it is asking me lookup array. So we need to select the array or column range from where we want to look this strike rate column. So I will again come in this batter tab and come on the top. Here we have the strike rate column here. I will select it and you can see currently we are getting J1 to J21, but I will press F4 and now my ranges are freeze. So even if I drag the formula, my range won't change. Now, once we have freezed the range, I will press comma again. Now it is asking for return array. So it is asking me from where I want the value to return. So we need to identify the player name and player picture. So I'm going to first identify player name. So where we have the player name column, here we have it. Then I will select it again, freeze it and then bracket close, enter. And you can see we are getting name of Rohit Sharma. If you want to cross validate it, you can come here and check Rohit Sharma and his strike rate is 164.08. That means we have applied the XLOOKUP correctly. Now let's see if we are able to bring the picture as well. So again, we are going to use is equals to XLOOKUP bracket open. My lookup value is again going to be 164.08 comma. Now I want to identify lookup array. So where is my lookup array? We have this strike rate column here. Again, I will freeze it, comma. Then it is asking for return array. This time I don't want the player name, but I want the player picture. So I will select the column B, freeze it by pressing F4 and then closing bracket and press enter. And you can see we have got the picture of Rohit Sharma as well. So this question is also done. Moving ahead, now let's talk about our question number four, which is we need to update the last name in column C, but within a time limit of 30 seconds. So if you are going to type Kohli and Dhoni and so on, so you won't be able to type it in 30 seconds. Let's suppose if you have a very good typing speed, maybe you will be able to type it. But let's suppose currently we have only seven or eight days here. If we have a player list of 100 or say 150, will you be able to type it in 30 seconds? 
the answer would be sure no so what we are going to do we are going to use a shortcut of excel excel function which will help us in typing last name of place with help of just a small shortcut so what we are going to do we are going to type kohli and then we need to use a shortcut that is control e and you can see we are getting all the last names here if you had a hundred player name list that will also work in that case also so this is very useful shortcut which i use all the time and i hope from now on you are going to use it as well moving ahead now let's talk about our next question where we have a pivot table and we need to answer these three questions which are what is the maximum number of six scored by a single batter and the second question is minimum number of four scored by a single batter and the last question is six scored by csk batters okay so we need to identify the maximum number of six for that we can use the max function so how we are going to use max function we are going to use is equals to max tab it will open our brackets now it is asking for number one number two and so on so what we want we want six is so i will select this entire range and then close the bracket and press enter so you can see we are getting a number of 26 and if you want to cross validate it you can come here and see we are getting the most success as 26 success by henry classen again we are going to identify the minimum number of fours hit by any single batsman so for that we can use the minimum function so what we are going to do is equals to min tab it will open our bracket again we need to select the entire range where we have the four data and then we will close the packet and hit enter and you can see we are getting nine fours and if you come and validate it you can see we are getting nine fours shared by henry class in again now we want to identify six hit by csk batsmen so if you come here and see how many csk batsmen we have here we have rituraj we have shivam dubey we have two batsmen here okay so for that what you can do either you can use some formula by clicking here plus but let's suppose if we have a list of 1000 players and we have 100 of CSK players, then this formula will be very time consuming. So what we can do, we can use sum if function here. So how we are going to apply sum if we will use is equals to sum if open the tabs. Now it is asking for the range. So what is the range we have here? We have this range of team here. I will freeze it by pressing F4, then comma. Now it is asking me your criteria. So what is the criteria we have? We want to sum for CSK team. So I need to select CSK. I can select from anywhere or even I can type in any column CSK and then I can use this formula. Then we need to select comma and then it is asking me for sum range. So what is the sum range? I want to total the number of sixes. So this is going to be my sum range. And I will again press F4 to freeze this and then comma and then enter. You can see I am getting again the same value. I hope you got to learn something from this video. Check out these video next. These will help you to improve your Excel skills more and prepare for your interview.